You're a psychopath in this movie. Yes, but only in the movie. No, I'm a good liar. <laughs> I'm a born liar. Uh -huh. Plenty of practice. I was gonna say, if you like me, you'll like the movie. And if you don't like me, you'll like the movie. It's kind of like this love-hate thing. The movie's called Fear. Do you fear. have a, a fear? What's your big fear? I have plenty of fears, which I don't want to share. Not one? No. <laughs> I got all the time in the world. This movie is also about a 16-year-old girl. She ends up with a broken heart because you're not quite what she thought you were. Yeah, this is where you actually first meet Reese Witherspoon, right? Yes. You were playing pool. Yeah, the first time I actually laid my stalking eyes on her. You're kind of two people. Because yeah. I, I mentioned before you're He's this very girl. leave it to Beaver, and then he turns into a grown-up Chucky. Yeah, but yeah. Well, yeah, then you got a problem on your hands. <laughs> I was pretty much excited to play the part, you know, until I realized, you know, I get along with everybody that I'm supposed to be trying to kill. You know, so it's not everything I thought it was. What do you mean? Well, I don't want to give away the ending of the movie, but right. you know, like the ending comes back to haunt me. Some pretty bad stuff happens. Yeah. Time. Do you want to get away from the image of the Calvin Klein underwear hunky guy? The sex symbol. Yo, Calvin Klein is definitely in the house. He knows that. That's my man. Is that something that you do you like it? You know, I don't I don't get bothered by it too much, you know? Whether it's Marky Mark or formerly known as Marky Mark, you know, the rapper turned underwear mom to an actor, whatever. That's cool. I never really thought I would have an opportunity unless I, you know, bent over backwards to show people that I was able to do it, that I could be in a smart movie, you know, and actually, you know, play a role that was totally different from who I am in real life and who I have, you know, been perceived as in, throughout my career. So that was great. Anybody who's like that, you know, I just kind of got it in my mind that I needed to have that and I needed to do anything possible to get it. I know a, a, a gazillion young actors who, who want to go out there and, and, and play, you know, the, the, the psycho type of character, you know, the, the taxi driver ish type of guy, you know, and I got the opportunity, you know, I don't want to do it all the time. I mean, you do bad guys well. Well, thank you. But you gotta see, I'm playing a hell of a good guy. In my next movie. You feel bad for me, even. That's hard to believe. How could you feel bad for me? I think the angels have blessed us all because of you. You're Dirk. Dirk Diva. <laughs> no, I'm a good liar. I'm a born liar. Uh -huh. Plenty of practice. To kind of put on a sad face and tell mom it wasn't me, it was my brother. Get another shot of him playing the drums. That's the band. What's the big difference for you as far as acting and singing? Or ah, rapping well, or you kinda, music? Performing live is, is something totally different. But I've actually, you know, since I've acted and then been on stage, I've actually been able to incorporate a lot of things that I learned, you know, on the sets of movies and from actors and from acting into my show. The block is here! I hope you watch. She always watches E.T. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> we like that. Yeah. Everybody watches E.T. E.T. is the best show on television. E.T. All those other shows, copy shows, clone shows, they're no good. Don't watch them. Wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. There you go.